have two videos I want to show you. I first want to state this is the real deal. This is a serious situation. And I posted on my Facebook page about a week ago that I'd be out of town this weekend. So I want everyone to pray about this and let's hope that everything turns out for the best for the United States of America and the whole world. Now I'm going to go ahead and play these two videos. Uh, some horrible things have been occurring in Syria. I mean horrendous horrible things. And it's a possibility the United States may strike Syria. So I'm going to go ahead and play these videos. You can watch them now. Learn that the Pentagon is making the initial preparations for a cruise missile attack on Syrian government forces. We say initial preparations because such an attack won't happen unless and until the president gives the green light. And it was clear during an interview on CNN today he is not there yet. If the U.S. goes in and attacks another country without a U.N. mandate, and without clear evidence that can be presented, then there are questions in terms of whether international law supports it. Do we have the coalition to make it work? And you know, those are considerations that we have to take into account. The attack on the Damascus suburbs, which left hundreds dead this week, is looking more and more like a poison gas was used. The United States warned Syria months ago that using chemical weapons could provoke a U.S. response. Two reports tonight. First, David Martin is at the Pentagon. David. Bob, uh, President Obama's national security advisor has just sent out a tweet calling what happened in Syria an apparent chemical weapons attack. And the commander of U.S. forces in the Mediterranean has ordered Navy warships to move closer to Syria to be ready for a possible cruise missile strike. Launching cruise missiles from the sea would not risk any American life. It would be a punitive strike designed not to topple Syrian dictator Bashir al-Assad, but to convince him he could not get away with using chemical weapons. Joint Chiefs Chairman General Martin Dempsey is expected to present options for a strike at a White House meeting on Saturday. Potential targets include command bunkers and launchers used to fire chemical weapons. However, officials stress President Obama, who until now has steadfastly resisted calls for military intervention, has not made a decision. U.S. intelligence detected